One of the things we wanted to do is what I've always wanted to do is capture some of the unique stories that uh, I've had the uh, fortune and honor of working with my father, which is a, is a great thing in and of itself. But also his experience in the industry has been relatively uh, respectful. I think anybody would uh, agree to that. So uh, there's lots of these stories that we want to share with you. And we had a little extra studio time, so we're going to go ahead and dip in and we're going to try one. And one of them is about a guy that I uh, used to have sushi with a lot named Jay Marshall. And... Uh, as Joe said, there's so many stories. So I asked Joe just just literally five minutes ago. I put him on the spot. I said, "Think of a couple stories that you could come up with." And uh, Joe, I'm going to turn it over to you and let you talk about the the guy that we all love, Jay Marshall. Jay Marshall, one of my confidants, one of my best friends. I miss him. It was eight or nine years ago he passed away, but he's le left a memorable uh, experiences for all of us who knew him. Uh, Jay was the first one who recommended to me to take the Desert Magic Seminar from Wichita, which was started here, it wasn't Desert Magic then, and move it to Las Vegas where all the magicians were. And I said, Jay, that's a good idea. So we did it and it started and we, the Desert Magic Seminar ran for 35 years or longer, but thanks to Jay. But the one story, and there are many of them, one story I remember when we did our first magic convention in Wichita, Kansas, it's the Wichita Conclave, uh, Jay Marshall, we booked Jay to come in. Well, Max Armstrong, a friend of mine, was with the police department. So Max suggested that we do something to really bring Jay in in the right way. I said, what do you want to do? He said, let's arrest him at the airport. I said, arrest him at the airport? He said, yeah. He, Max says, I can get the paddy wagon and some other officer friends to go out there. And when Jay gets off the plane, we'll arrest him and put him in the paddy wagon and drive him down to the Broadview Hotel. And we won't tell him any different because I won't be there, Max said, and Joe, I won't be here myself. So it was really set up perfect for Jay. So he gets off the plane, he walks out of the gate, and the officer there and says, sir, you're under arrest. And Jay looks at him and he says, for what? And they said, you're just under arrest, sir. And Jay used that prophetic phrase that everyone uses, you got the wrong guy, officer. <laughs> so they put the handcuffs on Jay, escorted him out of the airport, put him in the paddy wagon, drove him down to the Broadview Hotel and opened the door and let him out with the handcuffs. And Max and I and Martha and all a bunch of us were standing there on the curb waiting for him. And Jay gets out and says, Jesus Christ, what kind of a deal is this? And he says, I'm trying to pick these handcuffs on the way in. I couldn't pick them. And what a hell of a welcoming you guys gave me. So we all laughed. It was a great memory. And Jay took it the right way. And after all, Jay's done things like that to many people as well as what we did to Jay. But that's a great memory that for is. me, arresting Jay Marshall. You couldn't do that today. The police yeah. department wouldn't allow it. But back then in the uh, 1976, we could get away with it. But uh, great memories with the dean of American magicians at that time. Yeah, no question. I think we have photos of that on our on our archives. We do. Him actually being uh, arrested, arrested with the handcuffs the pan, and everything. The paddy wagon. If anybody could pick yeah. the locks, he wasn't Houdini, but he could pick them. He couldn't pick those cuffs. That's great. Yeah, we those got some great, of the great stories. Thanks of the to Max Armstrong for giving us the paddy wagon and yeah. the, the official policeman. That's a story. You know, there's more stories sure, about Jay, and maybe we can repeat some of those later on.